I wanted to mention a couple of documents that to our new EMTs they may not be aware of. Those of us that have been doing this in the field for a while know about these two documents. These documents can be found at the Alabama Department of Public Health slash EMS, and that is the EMS webpage for the state where you can find a lot of really useful information. But two of the things that I want to bring your attention to are the state rules and the state protocols. So we as a state have defined a bunch of rules and regulations as to what is an ambulance, what is an EMT, what is a paramedic, what are the levels of care that we're going to have in the state, and all the things that go into EMS. And that's found in the rules and regulations document. We also have a protocol document. And while the rules and regulations is good to be familiar with, the protocols you really need to know. In fact, we have a whole course or, or module on this later in the semester about protocols and getting your protocol certificate. But the protocols are how we are to treat our patients. So they list a wide variety. I think there's about 80 different protocols or 80 different conditions. And hopefully our patients fall into one of those. If they don't, then we have to be a little creative. But this is how we are to treat the patient. And if we don't follow the protocol, then we better be able to document why we didn't. Um, so they want us to do this. These are all reviewed by a committee of physicians and a couple of paramedics to make sure that they are current and up to date. I think they review them twice a year, but we usually get new protocols or at least an update to the protocols every year. Sometimes there's not much of a change from one year to the next, so we just get a little update, um, but sometimes there are significant changes and they'll rewrite the whole protocol manual. And it's your responsibility to be familiar with everything in that manual.